Traders, hello and good morning. So this is going to be the watch list video. So um, it's pretty early, but um, my schedule sort of is a little bit hectic after this. So I just thought let's get it out of the way. Now, an interesting session. I'll bring up, it's been up the one hour. So we didn't really see you know, the US dollar surge either, even though, um, bring up the S&P 500. So I did take that gold long as well at about 1909, stop loss at 1905. That did stop me out as well at about 2%. So um, interesting, yeah. So it did it fill my gap. So it probably did. Um, so, you know, looking at that, it sort of looked like there was a, you know, a dip buy scenario that played out and then it sort of cooled off. Um, let's see how gold reacted. It was really the main play I, I noticed was the S&P was quite weak when it first was announced at about, you know, 1 p.m. Perth time, 1 p.m. Singapore time. So, and um, yeah, gold, I like this. That's where I got in because it was looking like it was bouncing and, but no, it immediately reversed and went under that support level 1905 or so. And, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't get in again, to be honest. I was looking at this guy like, okay, like, but then I was like, well, I'm unsettled and, you know, it's been a positive week for me. So the S&P 500 scalp was pretty nice. So, I mean, it was aggressive, but yeah. So I'm not saying like trade like me, I'm just showing you what I'm doing and um, that was that was profitable. But yeah, it was looking like gold was sort of more the flavor, like it was more behaving where that's where money was going because it looked like the S&P 500 wasn't, you know, freaking out excessively. So that was the thesis. But, you know, that's trading. You've got to go, okay, that's not worked, get out and then move on. So let's go to the Aussie gold now and really... Because like I've mentioned in the past, guys, if you and if you knew the channel, welcome. Um, I'm really more of an Aussie dollar trader. Like I just can't. There's just so much going on that I can't sort of go. Oh, do this, that, this, that. I sort of just want to get to know something really, really well. So all right. So we've got here, okay, seventy one sixty two print. So. It's at a level now where it's really it's had some reluctance to get through. If we, I guess, you know, this is on my radar for a buy, but we'll just see what happens. You know, my overall thought is that we might have seen the S&P 500 rally. It all depends, though, on Donald Trump's condition as well, because he got taken to hospital. Or he's about to get taken to hospital. His condition is mild, which is what the medical team is saying. His, his medical team is saying, you know, from a quantitative standpoint, what does that mean? It's unclear. You know, what does mild actually mean? I, I don't. Different people might have different definitions of mild, for, you know, for his symptoms. So I don't, you know, they said he was, he had developed a fever though overnight. So that's why they'll take it. So, but then it was precautionary. So it's a little bit, you know, we're not really informed fully on what's going on. It sounds like, so if he deteriorates, um, and Joe Biden actually tested negative as well. And Mike Pence. So it, Mike Pence would take up from my understanding if Donald Trump was deemed to be, so, you know, Mike Pence would be a bad person in charge to be honest. So, but <laughs> it, it's, you know, but then they sort of saying he had asymptomatic symptoms, but now it seems like, you know, we'll see what happens. See what happens with Donald. So, you know, so in regards to trading the Aussie dollar, you know, if we see a significant risk off of that, it's going to be short. So where the Aussie dollar is right now is pretty precarious. So, you know, we're at a point where we need more information. And I know I say that a lot and it's frustrating, but I mean, you know, I'd love to go long. I'd love Donald Trump to get better because that will help the market. 
you know, and I'm in, in the market. You know, I'm a market participant. You've seen my previous video, you know, my portfolio. So it's like, well, it's it's hard. Although, I mean, you know, let's say Donald Trump recovers, Joe Biden wins the election. You know, what will happen there? Probably a lot of rioting is probably going to be anarchy. You know, because Donald Trump is has a very strong following. They're very passionate. And they're going to be upset. And, you know, who knows who will be advising Joe Biden in regards to his law enforcement. Because a lot of people seem very frustrated. Like the writing is occurring for whatever reason, you know, in regards to how people have been treated and whatnot. But it, it seems to then escalate. Like there's a, there's a protest and then it's rioting and looting. And people like F. Law and Order. But, you know, it just ruins a city. You know, people won't stand for that. And then, you know, there'll probably just be street justice. You know, if Joe Biden's in charge getting advice, like, oh, maybe we should just redeploy resources here instead of law enforcement. And then you might have whole cities and law enforcement just leave. If it was to leave cities and they become, you know, I don't want it to seem like that. You know what I mean? You've got to, you know, I think, hopefully, I don't think Joe is as extreme to the left as Donald is extreme to the right. So I think it probably will help the economy, but you know, it could get very turbulent in regards to the stock market. But so short, long story short, Aussie double play. Um, to me, when I heard the fever, that was pretty key. So I'm more leaning towards a short on the Aussie dollar. We probably will see a gap down in equity markets on Monday. That's on. That's what I'm thinking. To be fair, that's me putting a case together. But again, it's speculative. It's not like certainty. So we're trading. I'll, I'll just wait. I'll wait. Probably what will happen is it'll gap down, and then I'll play the close of the gap. That could also happen, you know, because you'll sort of have initial reports, and then they'll come out later on Monday, Monday morning, Washington time, whatever. Like, oh, actually, you know. You got to imagine, you know, Donald Trump might do a press conference soon as well. And there was an injection of antibodies. You know, if he gets better fast, um, you know, that, that would help the market. That would help the market. But guys, there's a lot of what-if scenarios. So right now, I, I've just sort of presented my case and thought, longer video, but I, I just felt like I, you know, a few things needed to be said in regards to like what I'm just thinking, you know, so... Um, definitely not a politics channel. It's more just my thoughts and me just going off on a ramble and things like that. But that's the video, guys. Hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Had a good week. I'm going to sip coffees one more time. Gold kabooshed me a little bit, as Steve Kalajian says. So it is what it is, guys. Bye for now and uh, happy trading.